Praise the Lord Church. Today's Bible meditation is taken from Revelation chapters 17 through 19. In these chapters, the key takeaway is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Revelation chapter 19 verses 11 through 16. Now I saw heaven opened and behold a white horse. And he who sat on him was called Faithful and True. And in righteousness he judges and makes war. His eyes were like a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns. He had a name written that no one knew except himself. He was clothed with a robe dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. And the armies in heaven, clothed in fine linen, white and clean, followed him on white horses. Now out of his mouth goes a sharp sword, that with it he should strike the nations and he himself will rule them with the rod of iron. He himself treads the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of the Almighty God, and he has on his robe and on his thigh a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. God the Almighty is the one who is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Jesus' is coming again to this earth will be visible, literal, physical, and glorious. He will come to judge the world of sin with eyes flaming with fire. The white horse symbolizes the spotless, unblemished, absolute, holy character of the rider. Colossians chapter 2 verses 9 and 10 reads, For in him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily, and you are complete in him who is the head of all principality and power. John identifies Jesus as the Word of God, and he is already at work through his Holy Spirit, sanctifying the people who are responding to his call through his Word. Jesus as the Word of God, the revelation of God to man, he will be the judge of man whom he created. So let's respond to his call and be prepared for his coming. Praise be to our wonder-working God. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for the privilege of your time in watching the videos and being part of Living God community. God bless you all abundantly as we are all created to be holy and happy. Amen.